Hi, everyone. I guess you can call this Chit Chat with Kath, going back to an old title that I used. Uh, but today I wanted to talk to you about something that I've been going through that might be helpful for somebody else. And you're going to hear a fan going in the background. I'm sorry, but uh, I just don't want to be a pool of sweat when I'm talking to you. And I'm uh, back in my kitchen, using my kitchen table for recording, so you don't hear the background noise of my very busy street. Getting back to the story. In August of last year, I went to get my teeth cleaned. And when I went, my doctor now requires that people have their blood pressure checked. Uh, before you have any sort of pr procedure there, or even getting your teeth cleaned. And my hygienist said, boy, your blood pressure is pretty high. And that actually startled me uh, because my blood pressure, usually I've had not a lot of issues with it. So I, on my way home, I stopped off at a drugstore and I bought one of those uh, cuffs that you can wear on your wrist to take your blood pressure. And when I did, I realized my blood pressure was still high. And I became obsessed to get it lower. I started walking every single day again uh, for a good half hour. In the winter time, I actually bought an exercise bike uh, because it's just too dangerous for me to go out uh, trying to walk when it's snow and icy out. Uh, and I have started to take herbal supplements. I was doing everything possible to lower my blood pressure and it just didn't seem to be going down an awful lot. It was kind of not in a really serious place when I was taking it at home. But the next time I went to see the dentist, again, it was really high. And that frightened me because I really worked hard for eight months for my blood pressure to go down. I did everything that you're supposed to do, except to go see the doctor. So I did book an appointment. Uh, before I went on my trip down to California, I went through a whole bunch of blood tests. I mean, six vials worth, uh, because she saw that my blood pressure was pretty high when I was in the office. But when all the results came back in with the blood work, I was perfectly healthy as far as the blood work went. Um, she did that standard uh, when you get your blood pressure taken at the doctors, they do it three times. Well, the middle time, my blood pressure was absolutely perfect. Uh, in fact, it was far below the um, 120 over 80 mark that they say that your blood pressure should be at, at the highest for it to be considered normal. So she asked me, what did I do? Because the first reading was high, the second one was normal, and the third was high again. And she said, with most people, the first is high, the second is a little bit lower, and the third is the lower reading. And I told her that I intentionally took a deep cleansing breath when uh, I knew the second reading was going to come. And that got me thinking, and that got her thinking, but she still wanted me to go through a 24-hour monitoring thing where they strap a blood pressure cup uh, to your arm, and then they, there's a machine that every 20 minutes when you're out awake, it takes your blood pressure. You also got to fill out a little form for the every 20 minutes saying what you were doing at the time that that cup did that. At nighttime, it only went off every hour, and I just put down that I was sleeping during that time, even though it woke me up. When I looked at it, I realized that there were times where I was high stress. There was one where I knew the cuff was going to go off. I was trying to detangle a whole bunch of computer cables at the same time and the cuffs started to go off. So you were supposed to stop doing everything you were doing and I was kind of in a little bit of a panic. My blood pressure was high. The actual blood pressure cuff raised my stress level, my blood pressure. So when the results came in, the uh, consultant that who was looking at my results before she sent it off to my family doctor said, your blood pressure is absolutely fine, but you've got some stress spikes, spikes going on there. And the Lord had already told me that I needed to be upfront 
and honest with him and with myself and not try to talk my way out of feeling stressful or admitting that I, I need to admit that there are periods of time where I feel anxious and I feel stress. Pretending stress and anxiety does not exist, does not erase the stress and the anxiety. So I was a wake up call to me. So what have I been doing? Well, when I admitted to the Lord, yeah, I need to start telling myself the truth about how I am feeling. And telling yourself the truth does not mean you deny or cover up struggles that you got going on in your life. So I hashed that one out with the Lord and the Lord gave me a lot of opportunity in the last 48 hours, uh, less than 24 hours after I got the results back uh, to deal with this stuff. It's been a stressful couple of days, I've got to tell you. Um, a package was lost that right now I cannot afford to replace that item. Just so there was that one package. Then yesterday, an, another package was supposed to arrive. It said it was delivered. It wasn't. But thankfully, the, the shipper, when I called them and explained to them that UPS lost it to their UPS access point, you know, where you can go pick up your UPS items in the stores, the store looked for it high and low, and it wasn't there, even though UPS said that it was. Anyhow, I talked to the shipper, and the shipper automatically said, we're sending you out a new one, no questions asked. But I had a choice to make there. I could get stressed out by it, and I could feel that stress going, and I just took peace instead. It's like I took a pill of of peace. I swallowed it with the truth that Jesus is my Prince of Peace. That yes, my financial situation isn't good right now, but I have got everything that I need. I've got food. I've got a roof over my head. Um, I've got clothes on my back and that the Lord knows and will provide the money that I need to continue to do the things that he's asked me to do. And when I did that, my stress level went completely. And I also felt another key to this is giving thanks for the little things that happened in the midst of all that stress. I talked to the most understanding, caring people in customer service, including UPS who lost my package. And I blessed them and thanked them for their graciousness. I told them I didn't blame them as a person for the loss of my packages. And I blessed them and I told them I hope they had a great rest of their day because those customer complaint agents, that's an extremely stressful job. Be kind to them. And remember, they're not the cause of your situation. They're just there trying to help you to resolve it. But getting back to the whole thing, if you've been hiding your anxiety and your stress because you kind of think, I need to be saying the right things and doing the right things and de declaring this and that and the other thing, go back a couple of steps there and Give that stress and that anxiety to the Lord and ask him what he wants you to do with it. If it's to do declarations and all of that, go for it. But the number one step is admit that there is a situation that you need his help in and allow the Holy Spirit, who is our helper, come alongside you and help you to find a solution for your body's reaction to the stressful situations that come into all of our lives.